Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial for the game Tales of Wind. So this is an app available on Android. Um, I'm having so much fun with this game, I've got to say. Now, um, what it is, basically, it's a sort of classic MMORPG, free to play. There is a cash shop, but you can, again, the good thing about apps these days, you can mostly ignore it. And the way it works, basically, is that you need to do quests. Um, and you needed to level up. A typical RPG thing. And you need to gear up, you need to make sure your stats are up to date and so on. So I wanted to get you through the basics to get you up and running as quickly as possible. So on here, on the left side, you have the quest list. When you want to do a quest, you just tap on it and it will effectively take you to the quest, you'll do it and so on. Now, one thing that you'll find with mobile apps um, is that you might be watching the gameplay more than actually playing, but that's the difference between um, apps on PC and apps on phone. That's just the way they are. There is a lot of automatic play. But saying that, you can at any time take over. You see, I've taken over and you can control it manually if you wish. And that includes your abilities and skills as well. Now, um, you can see I've got my skills here. In this game, you can customize your skills completely. So if I you click on this menu here, this button here on the top right, you can see that it gives you a lot of extra options. But if we're gonna go we're gonna go to skills first. So this is effectively your skill slash talent tree. And each of the skills you learn also has an additional uh, skill which you can pick up later on. And every time you level up, you get um, a point that you can put into the uh, talent tree. But also as well, uh, you can exchange um, EXP. The way that works is, is like you have the EXP belt at the bottom. You can see that I'm about nearly a quarter of the way to the next level. Um, what I could do is I could actually trade in that EXP. Um, so I click here, you go to skills, click redeem, and I have the option to trade them in to buy another skill point. So if I don't need that level, I could just exchange them. I don't have enough right now, but that option is available there. And the reason why that is added in there is because there is actual level caps integrated into the game. So anytime you go to the top left, you can see what the level cap on your server is. So this is a fairly new server. So the level cap you can see here is 57. And pretty much every day it goes up by a level. Um, so, But I am at the cap at the moment and each, each day I'm hitting the cap. Now, every day you need to gear up and also get something called cards. Now, when it comes to getting equipment, the best way to get equipment do the, well, first of all, click the kingdom button, which you can see right there. Then you can do equipment realm, you can do escort quests, you can do dragon treasure. They, they're the ones that give the best um, quest rewards each day for equipment. Then you have the card realm, which specifically gives uh, gear for uh, cards, drops for cards. Now you have other modes in, in the game as well, but given that this is more aimed at beginners, I'm not going to go into it right now. Now, um... Let me quickly explain the card system. So you have, if you go to your bag and then you click here, card pack, cards are kind of like attachments that you can put onto your gear. So you can see here that I've got all these cards attached to my gear. And the good thing about this game, it tells you when gear or cards or anything you get, emblems, there's a bunch of different categories of cards, when they will be an upgrade for you because you, you'll see a symbol on it. If it's better for you, the the rating, the battle rating, um, will have a green up, and then you can click swap and put it in. Now, with cards, you have different abilities. So I can see that these, these ones are equipped, okay? If I click on this one, and then I click enhance, then I can see skills available um, to the card. The reason I've, you can see I've done it, like plus six, plus three, and so on. Um, is because that is what I needed to unlock the skills in that card. So this is a perfect example, one I haven't finished yet. So if I click Enhance, you can see that this defense is still grayed out, and you need plus 12 in order to unlock it. But at this high level, it's very, very expensive. Like I can't, I, I can't even afford it. It's 5,000 to try and get it to rank 10. Up until, I think, I believe, rank 6, the success rate is pretty much 100%, but then it goes down. And especially when you're pushing uh, level 9 to 12, every time you level up, um, if you fail, you drop back down to level 9. So you have to hope, or you drop down a level, so you have to hope you keep going up all the way to 12 to fully unlock it. 
Now, so, and I would say as well, don't underestimate the cards. Like, the amount of extra skills you get from assigning the cards and the abilities and the points and so on will help you tremendously. Because that was the mistake I made at the beginning of the game, was not assigning my skills properly and not assigning my cards properly. So, um, and you can see as well, some of the additional effects on some of your skills. Like, this is for Summoner, but you can see here, this additional five points I put in, um, it adds a 100% lifesteal effect to this ability. So, like, again, like I said, don't underestimate <laughs> the, uh, the stuff. Now, if I click on my gear, with individual pieces of gear, always you can update them. If you don't need gear anymore, um, you can always, like, for example, this piece of gear here. This is worse than what I have. So if you can't trade them on the market board, you can always dismantle them. So I don't need this, dismantle, simple as that. And it gave me some materials. This one I don't need, dismantle. Now, bag space is going to be a constant bother in this game, believe me. Now, one thing is, you see that the different levels of rarity for gear. You have blue, rare, um, purple, epic, the legendary orange. You know, it's a typical RPG thing. Now, do not underestimate how powerful legendaries are so this is legendary 28 is better than even an an epic at level 50. the legendaries are very very in high demand so be wary of them so and one thing that you'll be collecting as well throughout the game are these shells you get them for free what i recommend is to actually use the shells to expand your bag space anytime you see these are these got the lock symbols you can click on it and for me to expand even further i need 450 more uh, but um, I, I would recommend to do that, to expand your bags as much as possible. So here's one. So look, so this emblem is better than the one I have. I'm going to swap it in. Done. And my battle rating went up. Now, battle rating is just your overall uh, points, essentially. So um, you have different titles in the game that you earn as well in that tab. But the more battle rating you have, basically, the more powerful you are. Simple as that. And everything you do, whether it's gearing up or assigning new cards or upgrading those cards or uh, changing your talent points um, will make a difference. Because if you look at the skill tree that later on, um, when you get to, I believe, 50, you can get a second tab called promotion. So you're, you become even more advanced and you can see that this goes on and on. And some of the talents you see here increases my power by 3%. It's like it's literally just a pure damage boost talent. So, um, like I said, do not underestimate how valuable these are for including, increasing your battle rating. Now, one thing you also have in the game is this here, the BR title. So, when you get to certain levels of uh, battle rating, you can see here on 87,000, you can redeem status and you get the title of associate. So, you can see I'm at the moment Ritter 2. But each time you increase your level you get bonuses so you see how i got 500 hp for that one i got 50 attack for that one and um there's a whole list of them so i finished all the night you get a backpack and so on each one of them gives an increase so i would recommend to redeem all the titles the second they're available and you can see the progression so eventually when you get all the way you, to get to emperor max level you need to be um you have to have 976, sorry, 67,000 battle rating. But obviously, the, the game is designed so you, you can't, like, people can't buy to win from zero to a million on day one. Simple as that. With the server base level caps, you're not going to, people are not going to be that far from each other. Um, now, one thing I found as well, when it comes to leveling up, I found that I got to level 25 in literally the first hour. Then 25 to 40 ish took probably five or six more hours uh 40 to 50 was actually quite a grind it, it took probably a good like 12 hours plus but then once i got to 50 50 plus then became easy again and what i was doing every day like i said um, i've been doing every day as a routine i'm doing the equipment realm i'm doing the card realm i'm doing the arena i'm es escort missions and so on i take care of my farm now the way the card realms work is that you can only go into the cards initially the card realms solo in the first time you go through them but after you've gone through them solo and finished them solo then you can go in with a team so you can see i'm on this one at the moment this is the latest one i'm on but i need 112,000 rating to do it I've, I've tried it it's very difficult for me but because i finished this one previously i can go in with a team the good thing in this game is that let's say okay we need i need a team i haven't got one um you don't have to rely on 
finding other players. It's like it's nice if you come in with friends, of course, but um, if you just can't find anyone, say you're playing two in the morning and you just there's no one around to play with, you can click create team anyway. You select what you're doing just in case anyone else wants to apply to join. Click create team, but then you have that tick there that recruit mark. So um, this is now inviting essentially AI um, players for me. So. Like, so but simply, if if it doesn't fill with human players, it's going to fill up with um, AI players, which, who basically, they don't really think, they just go in and mindlessly attack. They are decently powerful, and so on. So, but I can, I have been farming uh, with the AI players most of the time, um, so it is suitable for solo play. The good thing about this game as well, you might be prompted sometimes to... Uh, you know, pretty much with all apps to check out the cash shop, but it's really unnecessary. Like, I've, like I said, I've been able to play this pretty much non-stop since I touched it, and I, I, I haven't like even been limited at all in what I'm doing. Each day, I'm trying to make sure I stay at the level cap. I do my card realms, I do my equipment realms, I do the arena. So the arena is really fun. So the arena is basically just other players. So the way that PvP works in games like this is simply you will fight your opponents or other players avatar so what that means is essentially is that the computer will control that character and you go one on one against them you can choose to fight them manually you can choose to go also automatically against them and then it just simply becomes a contest of who's got better gear who's better ready and so on and in some cases one thing i find a lot with the pvp of the arena is that they the computer tends to do their biggest moves right at the very beginning so if you can avoid that then you can enable auto mode and then potentially whoop their ass but it depends how much powerful they are the way you can usually tell how much more powerful they are than you is their title literally so i'm ritter 2 i won't take on this ritter 5 because i know looking at this that to get ritter 5 i need um let's see ritter 5 you need at least 118,000 battle rating so this person go is like a good 30-40% more powerful than me, so it'll whoop my ass. Now, one other thing in this game, you have here, which a lot of people might not know, it's called Retrieve EXP. So the way this works is, is that every day you have loads and loads of different ways to get experience points, loads of different ways. And potentially you might miss them out, you might not get them all. So what you could do is essentially, all the time this Retrieve EXP wheel is filling up with part of the exp that you could have earned uh, which you didn't pick up now um you, because you might not even notice this at the beginning you see here i've got 13 million saved up and to level up how, how much do i need to level up to get to the server cap um i probably need let's say two million as a quarter i probably need like another seven million so when the server cap increases to 58, I'm just going to hit the retrieve VXP button and then just jump to 58 straight away. So like, don't um, underestimate the value of this retrieve EXP button. The escort missions, you can just do it with your team. In fact, given that I've now filled up with a party, this is probably a good idea. Um, so you see, I've got a full party. Um, I've got the escort mission. I clicked on it and literally that's it. The game is now playing itself. You go to the mission ask you are you essentially ready as but because i have an ai team they're all going to automatically say yes we're we're ready straight away okay we are ready we have a team so let's go and like i said you can choose to do this manually but um sometimes it's better to just uh, let it do its own thing you are basically here just you're just responsible to gear up to assign your skills to assign your cards and so on so i and because it is a, a, a game designed for mobile so a, a lot of mobile apps are like that i want you to understand that if you don't really know about mobile apps now um these red dots get your attention to that there's something new or something potentially to do um in these tabs so whenever you see the red dots um i would say investigate the the menu see what they have to offer so for example market okay let me see what's in the market anything useful coin okay claim coins now so i claim some coins artifact okay nothing special there trade now one thing that i will say as well is that 
when you're doing the equip the uh, equipment realms, you might get gear which is, you're not you don't even need. Like so, for example, I got this assassin chest armor. I don't need it, so I'm selling it. So, but it's worth quite a lot. You see, two million. So let's hope someone buys it. And this unidentified talisman, how much is it worth? One point seven million. So I'll sell it. So it's a good way to build up your points. And you do, like I said, you do have the cash shop. You can you can buy shells if you want, but it, it's not forced down your throat like a lot of other games. And uh, yeah, so what I do, like I said, each day I log in, I do the um, escort missions, I do the equipment realm, the card realms, maybe the dragon treasure as well sometimes. And I take care of my farm. It depends how much time I have. And I do the arena. So I, I tend to focus on these sort of five or six ones. Um, and it's what I've been able to do to reach max level on the server and so on. And what I will do each day. In total, uh, beginning to end, it probably takes like a, half an hour, an hour to get everything done. Um, but I have, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Now, I am playing the game on the mobile emulator called Memu. You can see it looks great, especially for a, a mobile game. Uh, mobile games are really moving forward, so that's why I'm very excited about um, other mobile games that are coming out, like BDO is getting a mobile game, Path of Exile is getting a mobile game, and so on. So, um, and they definitely are growing on me. That's why you're you're seeing more and more of these guides on my channel. But essentially, that's it. That that's hopefully what will get you started with the game. So now, one thing is as well, you get when you get into a, a certain part of the game, it will ask you to join a guild. You simply just go to guild, you apply for one. Hopefully, you'll get in. Depends on how well you geared you are based on the guild requirements and so on. And then eventually, as well, you'll see an item that says something like, "I think it's this one. It's here. Use use it in the guild grounds." And you might wonder like I did, how the hell do I get to the guild grounds? It doesn't automatically take you there. So what it is, like the way I found to get to the guild grounds, I literally just went into the guild, into events, and this one here, feed Coco, and click go. And that teleported me straight to the guild grounds. That took me hours to work out. Now, um, the next thing in the game is you have the guardians. So the guardians are little pets which uh, follow you around. Oh, nice, so I got an achievement. You see, I've done it seven days in a row. Um, so you see, I've got, you can see one of my guardians following me around, this guardian raccoon. I actually earned that one because every day when you log in, you get given shards of the guardian raccoon. And then if you log in seven days in a row, you will have enough points, enough shards in order to, to get him. Now, the way the guardians work essentially is that you can see what they buff. So this one will buff all attributes. This one will buff attack, this one will buff defense, this one will buff HP, and so on. And I would say just assign them highest to lowest. Each individual guardian, you can level up. And the one thing I found is the quickest way to level them up, essentially, to get to get them also as much battle rating as possible, is to just give them uh, guardian spirit. You will be collecting them all the time when you're leveling anyway, in case you're wondering what they are. They're just probably just sitting in your bags, these ones, these drinks. So, God, sorry, so the summer juice. You can use it and it will level up and so on. If you want to get more or different guardians, you can always teleport to the guardian grounds and you can use your uh, nets, these nets here, to capture more. But I'm, I'm happy with the ones I have. That's why I'm not bothered. It's one of the very first things that is actually introduced to you in the game. So, um, like, do pay attention to that. So, as you can see, I'm just automatically doing my escort mission um, because you never know. Even even escort missions, they might give me gear upgrades. So, again, don't underestimate them. And uh, now, unidentified clothes, because they're worth so much money, I, I would say at this point, especially because I'm only level 57 and eventually the game will open up to be like a very high level, um, I would say take the money. But... Um, do always try and gear up at least a little bit like you do some missions like for example I'm I've had this revelations uh, floor see revelation trial to all six I've not been able to get through this for ages because I'm nowhere near powerful enough so it is important to gear up at least somewhere to get these quests off your list so yeah now 
the last thing I'll, I'll touch upon is getting around and transporting. Most of the time when you click on quests, you just get there automatically. Like if you, you want to click on, like I want to do this quest, you click on it, it will just teleport you straight there. But sometimes you want to just explore the zones. You want to look at the, the world map and so on. So once we're out of this escort mission, then I will quickly show you how to do that. And again, this took me a while to work out. Now, one thing that you'll find by exploring the world is that there are quests to do, there are mobs to kill in each of the zones as well. So, um, again, it's nice to explore. So, when you're out when you're out about in the world, you have the minimap in the top right. Anytime you can click on the minimap, you can see what's available in the zone. So you can see these are all the quests available. You can click on each one of these or click on the quest, it'll take you there. Uh, these fights, um, basically each NPC in the game essentially has like a demon or a ghost or something, uh, which you can kill in order to um, basically one, get rewards, but two, to uh, like maybe get rewards and other things as well. And once they're gone off your list, they're gone forever. So for example, I've already gone through the old older zones. So like this one, for example, there was a bunch of them here. I've done them all. Apparently I've missed one, so I could do this, uh, this Griffin. Um, so I, I did spend time to explore each of the zones and so on. Anytime you like, if you were to click on any, any of these locations, you will teleport straight there. And you can see as well that some locations are only unlocked at certain levels. So I can't, for example, even visit this level until I'm level 60 plus, which is very soon, but I'm not, it's not available yet. So that's how you access the, the map. So are you playing this game? Do you like it? Do you have any thoughts about the game? Um, around the world, it might not be called Tales of Wind. When you're looking up guides and so on, you might have to, it might be called Laplace M. So just, I want you to not be confused about that. It's the same game. Tales of Wind and Laplace M is the same game. Yeah, I think it's called Laplace M in China or something where, where it originally came out. So yeah, but like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I really recommend it. It's very fun. I can put in hours into this game every day. I'm, every day I'm logging in to get to the top level and so on. I love the progression. I'm, I'm having more fun with this game than other equivalent games like, for example, Legacy of Discord or other games like that. And I am waiting to see more of the sort of RPG games that will be available on mobile like Black Desert and so on. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any feedback, if are there are other YouTubers who make videos exclusively for this game, let me know in the comments. If you have any feedback and so on, let me know. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.